Hello and welcome everybody. This is Yannon Man and my special guest commentator today, Old Time Pro. Say hi. Hi guys. Thanks Yannon for letting me come. Cool. All right. So let's get this started. We got three v three today. Uh, this should be awesome. It better be awesome. Otherwise, I'm gonna kick some people's butts. All right. Starting on the left hand side, we have sporting the green Romulan. I'm sorry, the green Dominion. I mean, come on, seriously, Romulan green, they go together. But so Dragonfire here, sporting his Green Dominion. Um, saw him kick some butt the last game. Expect to see some more of the same this game. His teammate, the orange person who is speaking in caps, um, Federation person here is uh, Cam K. He does a pretty decent job. Makes the game interesting. He better make the game interesting this time. And rounding out the left-hand side of the team as the White Dominion, this here is Zeb, uh, the famous Zeb who does the forums and is generally just a badass. All right, old time, please introduce <laughs> us to uh, the right-hand side. <laughs> yeah, thank you. On the right, we have uh, Yellow Klingon, 23 down. I believe he's uh, Tag Ruja. He is good with Klingons, always does team games and stuff. Uh, his teammate Fuzzy is sporting uh, red heads. Can't go wrong with them. He's ah, oh, but look, they're sabers. Spamming some. <laughs> yeah, they're spamming sabers, and he has Nova class. I believe that's Mason. And in the bottom, we have Minion, which is mighty funny stuff. Very good player, always does team games and stuff. And he is, I think, going to expand very early. Very nice. Okay, so now we've got the teams. What do you think they're going to do? So who is your bet that's going to win this one? Oh, it's hard to say when you're starting the match. I think both of these teams are pretty balanced. I mean, Dragonfire and Zef. I mean, Dragonfire and Funny. Zef and 23 and Kamik and Fuzzy. They're all good players. Yep, yep. Can't disagree with you there, so... I'm... I have... I have to agree, though, but <clears throat> I have funny stuff who's on best in the or who's best in the left, and they're both Dominion, so it's going to be very interesting. Mm, true. And we are looking at uh, Circling Vultures map, which is... I, I love that the community has put out just a ton of new maps lately, um, and some of them are actually really quite good. Um, and it's it's nice to see people putting in the time to put a decent map. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, sometimes when you're playing, um, it gets boring, you know. Always good to see something new and balanced. Yes. So let's take a look over... Let's see what 23 has got sporting. He is sporting Brels and Quebecs. Um, uh, this really feels like he is... He's got a field yard going up. I, I would almost say he's going to transition into but, but he's Tak Roja, so you don't really expect a battle station any a battle yard anytime soon. Whoa, so. whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, I see two Katingas. What is he planning on? <laughs> Katinga rush, baby. Do it, do it. Yep. Yeah, and you see on the top there's a bug and a, and a saber there. They're Trying to deploy these ships fast. I think they're going to make some very fast move against the minion. Oh wow, they are. They, I love it when they have team comes together, and yeah, Dragonfire it had some just mass. It, Dragonfire in the last game got just way too comfy, and he ended up just making good use of the time and just massed a nasty Dominion fleet. And I don't think they want to have that happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you no, know, he has just has one B8. Ah, uh, but check this so out too. Unless he gets help from his allies. He knows it's coming, so it's not a surprise. And he's trying to throw up that construction yard. Um, yeah, you're right. He he could do this. I mean, he, that construction yard is going to be up in time. Uh, I I give him. Yep, and we see. Oh wow, look at this. Yeah, go on. Look look at this. <laughs> Katinga's out the wazoo. Yeah. 
<laughs> we see a Cam K has snatched a Fed Scout in the middle with his Monsoon, but that's not the center of attention. I think he should try ramming. Oh my god, so many Katingas. So many Katingas, baby. I think they're gonna kill this guy. They, they are, they are gonna, totally gonna get him. Oh wow, that's awesome. Whoa. Check that out. Oh no no no! Don't don't give up on no, that guy. No, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't. Stop. Okay, oh, they're gonna get it. God. They're gonna stop the construction yard at least. Um, I I, well, I disagree you know, with that move. I actually say should have. Yard is not that important if he cannot deploy ships fast. I mean, you know. But you know what? I think he it is. You know now he can't repair anything. Uh, he, you know so that that's. It's hard to complain about a move like this yeah, when they yeah. take out so much. Yeah but, yeah, but definitely, I think the right team has has a uh, good advantage. I mean, you know, Fury's economy is now screwed up a little, but he'll get on his feet if he makes good progress in the field. Exactly. Um, it's, he's popping. You know, he's he's oh earning God, his so supply. Yep, uh, you're right there. Cam oh, came. this one's own is a. Uh... Oh yeah, he's totally in the wrong, out of position here. Um, I don't know what he was doing. Just giving experience. How very, very uh, nice of them. Well, being Rambo in fleet ops never pays off. <laughs> Unless you have a cube or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta love the cube. Gotta love the cube. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's the only ship. And really go solo against any enemies, but no, he's buying time for his allies. Yes, he is. did sacrifice miners, but you know, they're all expanding as you can see, they're sending bugs and stuff. Oh, so, you know, it's, it's not that bad. Well, so this is so Dragonfire lost his expansion, they knew where that fleet was, they knew where all of their fleets were, or for the most part. And they didn't. I counter. think they were surprised when they saw so many Katinga. I think it really surprised them. Oh yeah, pulse platform going down. Whoa! Uh, this I don't is, know. It, Whoa! It's, this platform. Yeah, it will go down. Yeah, he'll just cycle through his ships, and that sucker will be kaput. Wow, the right-hand team just really has a handle on the left-hand yeah, team. I'm, yeah, you're right. I mean, I see the left-hand team is paralyzed. I mean, they're all over the place doing something, but not Shoot. coordinating or anything. Yeah, where's the warp in? Here's some... There's a warp in here somewhere. Oh, I think Katingas should back off. Yep, they should, because they're about to get crushed. Opinion are, you know, reinforcements are coming in. Oh, they're both going oh, V8s. You're going to lose something, but oh. they're going to get out. Morel and a Katinga is small price to pay on what they've done so far. Exactly. Uh, very much, very much so. And here comes the warp in, all lollygagging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, they, they, I think they did well on the, the early advantage. They and have. Right now, the feds have ships and, you know, prototypes and stuff. They prevented the big yard and killed a lot of stuff. And they really just is looking good. Put that left hand team kind of on their heels too. They've yeah. taken they've put the battlefield in the front door of the left hand team. Yeah, and the right hand team has, you know, expanded. You see the middle is okay. The uh, 23 is probably getting some resources for resources from <clears throat> his allies to expand a little, you know, teamwork. Yeah. And you know, the minion down there is looking fine. I mean, he hit so many ships and bugs. He really buy that time. Okay. Really made a gap and in the balance of power in early game. Yes, yes, yes. I see some S2s coming out here shortly. Uh, you think Funny's gonna? Yep. What are they gonna do here? Are they gonna be meeting in the middle, try to? Uh... Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, if the right team assembles their entire fleet. From what I see now, they could really crush. His B eight. I mean, do you see how many bugs he has and feds and and and, and yeah. he does. I mean, they have so many small ships. They can just roll over them. Oh, I don't know what. They're cheap, you know. They can just trade off. His yep. B eight are good and long range, but you know. But they're so far they away from their repair yeah. yard. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, I, I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know why 23 broke off here. Getting a little been... cocky. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I think he saw that he can't do anything against the turret and, uh, and four pins and stuff. Oh, uh, 23 is all in the yellow on every one of his uh, ships. Which is interesting. Oh, well, you know. And yeah, we see KMK putting a yard yard. Things like wasted a lot. I'm gonna go long game. The economy is pretty much, you know, hammered by those Katingas, you know. Well, a couple of E2s will do them very much good. Got about 50 seconds on the warp in. He's got a steady little. Oh, hello, where is the fun? Oh, it's bottom dominion. Oh wow, Zeb has they ambushed uh, S2. Yes, there's a little bitty um. And uh, yeah, you got corridor. engines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a really good move. Zeb he can needs you know to... take out some of the miners and get out of here. Yep. It's he could really make up for the early losses. Gotta get the kills. Gotta concentrate. Gotta concentrate. Zeb, now it's time for you yep, to get but out. The bugs. I mean. So many bugs. Uh, now let's see what Funny's gonna do. Is he gonna try to cut him off? Um, and Zeb's. Yeah, yeah, yep. He's maneuvering. Yeah. He's he's doing a good job. Gonna wait he for the Fed. Needs to get out. <laughs> <laughs> and and as well that action is going. Uh, twenty three up the top. Twenty three is making a move of his own. Just yes. Took a, Took down uh, one Federation ship. Nice. Taking that down another one, I think. Oh, and down so here at the bottom. It is, it is really a. The yeah. um. Bottom, the, the tide is, is turning oh. again. Yeah, but the Dominions, uh, these forward-firing uh, pulses are not doing anything because they're retreating, and yeah. those bugs were just eating up Whoa. things. Okay, we're gonna have a showdown now. We are, and here comes the. The feds finally mixing it up a little bit, um, and these bugs are just getting eaten by all those pulses. Let's see what 23 is doing up here. 23 yeah. earning his supply. But yeah, he's really doing a good job harassing and really has the time and space. Yes, he does. Zeb feeling a little bit of pinch because it's oh. now a two-on-one. You know, you can, you know, trading off bugs for B8s is not that bad, you know. Oh, not can at really all. really afford it. Absolutely. I'd trade a one for one bug for a B8 any day. Yeah, uh, you know, B8 for one Saber, that's that's just <laughs> good trade off. Yes, it is. And really, fight is in the middle. Like, we see in the left has you know, his yard, and in the right, blue has his yard. <laughs> it's really a skirmish fight. Yeah, it's hard to even like see what's going on. Whoa, uh, Fuzzy's yeah, kind of backing I don't even off a little tell bit. Who's, who's from who? The uh, yeah, who is here? Oh, funny is. I think the Feds are getting the upper hand here. I mean, the left and Feds. The, yeah, they are. What I can think of. Or they're not. Well, hmm, reinforcements are coming. Reinforcements <laughs> are there. They're making their presence known. Yeah. Oh, and these... For a nice match. Oh my god, I can't even tell. <laughs> and meanwhile, 23 is killing off everything. He has a he has an officer, Katinga. Oh, oh, and a poor S2 doesn't make it back in just because of a single fighter. Oh, and this prototype. Yeah. Uh-oh, Dragonfire is going to lose his I prototype. I think the left team... Yep. Oh no, he must not... You have to cover the prototype. Well, it's dead now. Bye bye, prototype. I think the left team is breaking off the skirmish. They cannot afford to go around and lose ships. No, they cannot. And I see. Oh, this is a nasty yeah, little skirmish. Yeah, 23 is coming down now. I think he's going for a checkmate. <clears throat> checkmate. Oh, good ramming with... on the Enterprise. Yeah, the Enterprise. Gonna go down. Funny's losing his officer uh, S2. Almost. Almost. Oh my god. So lucky. And he gets out of there. I think that's 1%. Oh my god, it's 3%. Oh, 
Wow, I have to say, yeah, this saber is, I stuff. Think, uh, I, I, I totally wasn't expecting the sabers you know to what? do any good. Yeah, yeah. Damn. You know what? E2 is coming down and more feds. Oh, but it's look what uh, S2, I'm sorry, um, 23 down take, said, alright, if you're going to leave yeah, here, I'm just going to eat fighting. you. In and yeah, out. He's going to lose his officer, Katinga. Oh, no. He's nope. He's getting out of there. <laughs> That's a good day to be a Klingon. What a nice match. Really cool. All right, Zed a lot of skirmish. To... Oh, this is a bad move. Feds oh. are going along. Fuzzy is getting, yep, a little bit too cocky here, and Zeb is going yeah. to eat him for being stupid. Um, you don't... Yeah. None of the players here... Well, those E2s are really shelling with those torpedoes. Yup. Seems the early investment is not so bad at all. Yeah, just because uh, just because the right-hand team got some good licks in there at the front, don't mean they can get stupid or cocky. Yeah. This, this left-hand team will eat you. They're all good players. But now, yeah. I think the left-hand team's getting a little bit spread out. They need to watch out, need to regroup. And again, shift is moving towards the right-hand team. Now, there and there, near the yard. <laughs> oh, but they're going to get this officer, S2. Uh, need to get... Oh, need to get that... Oh got my that God. kill. Oh, no. <laughs> not, not lucky twice. <laughs> <laughs> not lucky twice, exactly. And the bug is getting disabled. One can save him. Meanwhile, the Klingons are assembling uh, massive fleet. Let's see. What Whatever have got ships Klingons? they have. Rails, Katinga, Badge, Gwards. Fi finally put up the battle yard. Where are the Klingons? Two yards for the Feds. Three yards for the Red Feds. <laughs> They're producing monsoons, sabers. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. Three interiors yards. Yeah, we're a nice match. But Green Dominion is really suffering a economy collapse. I think he lost so many miners and stuff. He did, but he, he is coming back. Flies are down. Miners. I mean, he is trying out, but Finger Rush was exactly what they needed yep. at that point of game. You know what? Guns can move around freely. I mean, they have a, such a big army. They can represent the task force on their own. They don't have to oh, join up with we anyone. We got a sensor platform here. Let's see. Is that oh, going to catch it? Is it going to catch it? Oh, you lucky little Ooh, cheeky bastard. Really cool. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's going to catch him eventually. It, it, see, oh my god. That's he so is cool. right inside. Okay, bye bye. There it is. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, Burrell and <laughs> engines go down. Oh shit. <laughs> bye bye, Burrell. Oh, he deserved that dead. one. He totally deserved that one. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's payback time. Oh, it is payback. It is all in here. You know, the Klingons, when they lose something, they always want to get even. Yeah, pretty much. Then they just want to get even if they didn't lose anything. Oh, wow. Nice I think little... they can bring down the... Oh, yeah, they've got some... And again, Green is sending four B for... Oh, I think those B5s can put the part on this. Oh, they can. They really can. Especially if they fight around this sensor platform. Uh, that phaser. Hopefully, there is a uh, thing um, <laughs> alley to repair in that yard. But the Klingons are not stupid. They're just gonna yeah, leave. But all of these ships are so fast. Oh, but just we got another one. Fight. We got another one down the bottom. Down the bottom. Check out all those colors. Oh my God. Oh, another massive. Uh, Go just off. take one hand, take the other hand, just slam them together. Yeah. Really a slugging match. I can't even tell who's winning. I see a little bit of red on the They're right hand. I see a little bit of orange middle. on the minimap. Zeb doing oh, smart. Officer is running. Oh, uh, he's chased by a there. bunch of ships. Uh, oh, oh! oh I don't know what. It. I don't know what Fuzzy was thinking. He had a kill. Need to get that kill. I think Klingons need to move down there and put the checkmate. Uh, they, they need tell to. Do, me. <laughs> Klingons do need to move somewhere and make some. Klingons are tying yeah, up I the green. I think he wanna raid more. Hungry for those supplies he wants to. Typically Klingon. Oh wow. Hold the loot for, for himself. Cam K here, you know, keeping his stuff sort of in tight and close. It, yeah, he needs to get the heck oh, out and of Dodge. Oh, taking a lot of damage. Oh, he's taking a ton of damage. He needs to get out of there. They need to get a nice, nice uh, coordinated retreat. Yeah. 
Oh, well, it's tough to get a coordinator retreat. Ah, uh, yes, and it is true. I think this ends in a draw. Both lost here and there, but and the Klingons are again on the raid for, for some supplies. Eh, <laughs> right in the main, too. So Just... many officers. Oh, come on, can we get a... And the Katinga! Katinga, oh. give me a vet! Oh, I never vet saw Katinga. this before. <laughs> what do you have here? Never saw veteran Katinga, can That's you believe hilarious. that? hilarious. Look at the... Six months of my game. <laughs> Tritanium dur duranium alloy, 65% hull durability. Nice, nice, nice. That's awesome. Look at the systems, it's like, it's like a it's like a cabbage, a little stronger. <laughs> That's my god, hilarious. that Katinga rush is really paying off. This that is... This is... Really is. The thing has on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Alright, so the Federal on the right hand side needs to get rolling. Oh wow, he's out of supplies completely. I mean, yeah. Fed are out of supplies. The minion left, the minion is bad with the titanium. I mean, all of their miners, the new ones. But Zeph is doing fine. Why the minion is still holding line. Yes, he is. Losing ships, but he is getting back. You know? So the south front for the left side is holding. Yeah, barely, but you yeah. know. Put a uh, perimeter there. Yeah, that would be a good idea. The worst but, you know, idea. I don't know. I mean, perimeter would be a good idea since they already have a stalemate. So they have a stalemate. It's They're too many numbers. Them little ships too so that uh, that area of effect yeah. would be nasty against stuff oh and Klingons have a massive fleet look four ships in their base tons of ships at their expansion I mean they, <laughs> they can just mobilize I don't think these five B5s on the open field can handle them watches are coming in Camp K's got a Liberty raiding force trying to uh, make something happen if nothing else, he's just trying to like push them back. If they can get a kill, that'd be a little bit of experience. Yeah, but you know, oh, he yeah. never knows where the Klingon might be. So, though this is a good attack, it might be dangerous. So it's, you never know. Way it's too dangerous. Down in the middle. Yeah. Didn't get a kill. Doesn't have eyes on the enemy. So he did get a kill or two. I don't know who lost the ship. Mk, but uh, I, yeah. I wouldn't recommend. You know, it's dangerous. Yeah, it is. You gotta get in, the you gotta four, get out. The four Klingon ships are, are prowling them. He has some reserves to re respond on these raids and stuff. <clears throat> and you watch the minimap. You just see the color yellow creeping, creeping closer to the green. Yeah, and these are oh. all ranked up officers, oh. veterans. Check this out, it's V-13. Yeah, oh, that ship. Oh, that's gonna take ages to bring down. Mm, I, I've never. Personally, I've always thought that the V 13, fragile ship. It, it just seems to take a lot oh. of damage and die really quickly. Well, that... it's, he has a full complement of B 5s. I mean, that's on the V 13 is, is good. You can see the offense and defense. I mean,. What else could you build at Pure Tech? Uh, not disagreeing with you at all. Not disagreeing with you at all, actually. Yeah. And, you know, the small yard is uh, not producing anything. I think he oh. can't support it. He doesn't have any expansions or anything. IS bomb going off. Ooh. A little bit of tech from Zeb there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did he get anything? Against Skirmishing in South. That's. Oh, they just need to move up and take out Whoa, the stuff. Oh, so that... many disabled. I think he should oh, move in and get. It needs to get in. That's an awesome, go awesome in, tech go. move. <laughs> oh man, Zeb. Oh my God. I think, I think he could have gotten at least two or three ships. Oh, yeah, that totally lost opportunity Maybe. there. Good oh, play. Oh, the are coming back. They want more. Oh man. And whoa, big fight in the middle. Klingons. So many Klingon ships. <laughs> I mean, they can just take it. Oh wow. <laughs> There's oh, and the Dominion is coming in, and the battle in the south. Oh, but they are going oh. straight after those ships. They are not going to let anything out. 23 down. Well, SD is making a flanking move in the south, and in the middle, Klingons are, I think, taking 
taking the most damage here. I mean, like, so many ships blowing up. I bet those are the Katingas. Oh, but t take a look no, at the B5. Dominion fives. ships are going down too. They they've got the Dominion ships oh. just beat it up. Down there, I can't even tell who's winning. I see a little bit of red. There's funnies coming in up. Yep, flanking on one side. Uh, yeah. Zeb with a little bit of IS bomb gonna help. Um, Some special going off. Yep, that'll help. Oh Zeb. Oh Zeb and Cam K here have got a nice little something going on. Yeah. But I think Cam K lost maybe 40% of his fleet. True. Died, but, but, shrink doubled. But they are just who? Wow. And now they've made it through all of the smaller Federation ships, and now they're going after the um, B8s from Zeb and. There's just too many fed ships here. I think that Zeph is losing here. Yeah, Zeb is uh, putting some T-15s on the board here very shortly, but it's just not going to be enough. Um, he's got... Oh, it will take ages for those to build. Yeah, I see everything. Yeah, Zeph has been no run. Help yeah. and KMK was... Had some ships in the middle, but couldn't send them down because we attacked him and he... I really that think was, that I think the, this was a calculated move. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing. That right hand team is just coordinated like clockwork. They are like, hey, yeah, and that, I'm going to attack. Good. You attack That's there. Very good. It's very good teamwork. Love to see that. Love to see that. You can Work almost is always essential. It can always turn side. Always. Yep. Really. And but you know, top minion still. Wiped out. Oh wow, Zeb is yeah. He just got his. Uh, Zeb has nothing. They've got a straight run into Zeb's main. There's nothing. Up from just dropping. So let's see what Cam K oh, the and uh, forces. Mm -mm -mm -mm. V13s. V13s need their special. You're fighting a whole bunch of little bitty ships. Um, do, does the V13 special always hit? Because if it did... There's an immense volley of torpedoes. I don't think it always hits, but definitely can. Well, I mean... You, like, you, uh, it's it's like a, like a galaxy class, and he fires three ships. Yeah, but it goes straight through the hulls. And so you got a whole bunch of little bitty ships with small hulls, and you could really tear those suckers apart. Yeah. The blue dominion. Let's see, is he gonna go for the tech though? Test out a little. Poke around. Hmm. MK is throwing the towel. Yep, Zeb is getting uh, whacked there. <laughs> yep. Red Federation has just millions of ships if you can. And the cloning the Klingon will already rebuild some very good fleet. It's not all Katingas. I mean, can you see how big their fleet is? Yes, I, I'm just watching Klingon the and... watching the blob on the minimap. Yeah. yeah, and these are all quality ships. These are all Kabaj, you know, uh, Wards and Warchas. Oh yeah. And Katingas are ranked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a good game. Here comes Dragonfire to uh, Zeb's aid, but it's the, uh, uh, no. they can only they have so few ships they can only cover one side at yep. one time. Yep. So these guys can split up as they do. You see, Feds are massing in the middle, Klingons are you know mobilizing up and down. You have Dominion who can you know do raiding and stuff, general disrupt. And, uh, I think we're gonna have a free prompt attack. A time now. Yes, they're just setting it up for it. I think Fed's gonna push in the middle and make everyone go in the middle, and then Klingons up, down, and pew. Yeah, Cam K. Someone's is... gonna rage quit. <laughs> Cam K is actually <laughs> calling this correctly. I mean, the right hand team. I really do think that they have won this. There's hard to, uh, hard to. Yeah, I think fight back I think he has a scout or something around here, and he see what storm is coming. So that was a great game. I enjoyed that immensely. 
So uh, uh, thanks for letting me good match. Yeah, thank you. For, thank you for commentating, and uh, thank you all for watching, and thank everyone for playing. Great game, and um, we will see you on the flip side.